Um, I am totally changing up my my game. I have not enjoyed um, the topic that I chose. Um, I have all of a sudden realized what topic I really, really want to do and what I'm passionate about and um, what is getting the biggest response from um, people who I talk with about um, my new methods of teaching within my classroom. I had first thought that I was going to do um, art of choice, but I found there is a lot of um, research out there on art of choice and I couldn't really depict the avenue that I could go to make it a new topic of research. Therefore, I couldn't find my passion in the research, and I'm the type of person who I want to do it right, and I want to do it right the first time, and I couldn't find the right way to do it. Therefore, I'm switching my thesis. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to say, um, it seems like a, a theme for me right now, because we started off, I think the first two months we were doing a paper, and then we switched, and now we're doing action research, and it's taken me a while to digest that, and then I thought I was going to do it on technology, and then I talked to Roxanne, and then we were doing Art of Choice, and now I'm switching again. So, so I'm hoping that this is the last time that I switch. I do realize that I have to totally redo my um, literature review. Luckily, um, I hadn't committed to a lot of the things that I had started on my literature review with my first topic because I was not enjoying um, that area. Therefore, um, I have started on my new re literature review, and I have six um, papers that I've read and really enjoyed and um, have found that um, the thesis that I'm moving towards isn't as researched and written on as my last one. The new thesis I'm wanting to do is teaching via video in an elementary art room. Um, not long distance via video, but I'm in the room, and I have been teaching all year through video. And at first I thought it's going to help me not forget vocab, to not forget um, some techniques that I am wanting them to know. That's what I thought I was doing this year, and I thought I have this iMovie I've never you know, considered it. This is a tool that I can use, um, considering that I have eight third grades, eight second grades, eight first grades, and eight kindergarten. I will only have to teach it once via video and then show it to my class. Um, throughout the first of the year, I'm going to use that as my cycle one because I have learned so many things that I did not expect. I did not expect to be able to be at two places at once. I can be teaching via video and I can be doing behavior behind the scenes. I um, can add two things that I've realized I've forgotten. Um, I can correct myself. Um, when I'm videotaping I didn't even know I made a mistake and well, watching it eight times, you know, a week, I realize um, things that I need to correct, and that wouldn't happen if I was just doing it live constantly. Um, video teaching um, with me also in the room. Um, I can make sure that everyone is listening. I can also um, use that video on my website for students who have missed. I can use that video if someone has missed an entire week and comes the next week and we're already a days ahead of them and usually I'd have to reteach it to them or have another student teach it to them in hopes that they get all the concepts, the vocab, the da da da, which they don't. I know they don't. Um, I sit them in front of my apple and I have the videos from the week before. It has solved so many things and I have gotten so um, much response from it, and I've had two um, 
teacher evaluations, and that's what I was doing um, during that. So I will have um, some critiques from some of my crucial friends. Um, so I'm really excited. Uh, I realize it's putting me back some um, with a lot of the work, but I've got passion for this, and that is what I was lacking before. I had no momentum. I had no passion, and now considering that I do, I think that... Um, my project will move along much faster and I think I will get everything um, done according to plan considering my cycle one is done. I am going to really think I have I have kind of done a cycle two um, just here recently this last week. I have omitted music in the background after learning in month six that um, hearing the teacher speak and listening to background music at the same time is is not um, a good thing for learning. Um, therefore, I've omitted um, that background music. And I have seen that it is, it is helping some of those kids that are wanting to dance while I'm teaching. Um, I figure probably aren't uh, receiving all of the um, instruction that I'm wanting them to. And omitting the music I thought might be less entertaining but I have found that it doesn't it doesn't seem to be it doesn't seem to be at all. My students are more engaged by me on the screen other than me live. I don't know why, but no, no, they they like watching TV. They can see me better. They can see the example better. Um, they're not all crowded around a table um, trying to see what I'm doing. They can see me on a big screen and. They enjoy it, and also it is cutting down on my transition time. It is saving me a lot of time, and it has just been amazing in my classroom. And I don't think that this has been studied. I don't think that this method has really been researched. So the last th reason why I am so excited about my new thesis is because I don't have to write subplans anymore. Um, I send the file or I leave my computer, which I don't really like doing that, um, and I can be there even if I'm not there. Um, I just tell my sub, pop this in, here's the supplies, you know, play the videos of me teaching, and there's, there's enough said, you know. So I am very, very excited about the new change. Got a lot of work to do. I do realize that, but I think it is well worth it because this is where my passion lies. So, um, my critical friends, obviously, um, like I said, my principals at this point are the only ones who have commented on my new my new project. Um, Mark Ben, I have talked to him about it, and he will be posting once I get some stuff going onto my website. So, thank you very, very much.